I'm making my easy chili cheese French bread pizza. So simple. I've got the same bread. I've hollowed it out a little bit though, so I can put that chili in there and just put this bread to the side. You can make bread crumbs. You can also put it on a sheet and toast it if you've got like a cheese sauce at your big game party. It's fun for a dip for your guests. All right, so this is just store-bought garlic butter. Be generous, you know, sometimes I'll even kind of go in and just like pour it down the center <laughs> and then spread it around. I'm gonna get this into the oven to toast it. Um, you can do 400, 450. You're just going for the edges to get lightly golden brown and then you're gonna bring it back out and top it. Get this in here. Should only take about, oh, 10 minutes for it to get like this. Then on the inside, I'm gonna add my five ingredient chili. So the five ingredients are so simple. It's just some ground beef, a can of tomatoes and green chilies, a can of black beans, an onion, and chili powder. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get this into the hollows here. Just scoop this in here and get it along the length. I used to be team no beans in my chili uh, until I put some black beans in. We've got kidney beans here. If you wanna lean the beans out, you're more than welcome. Uh, and this recipe is actually so simple. All those ingredients, just add them. Makes a very quick and simple chili for your guests. Just five ingredients. We've got that recipe on the Food Network Kitchen app and I'm even demoing it live for you so you can see how to put it together. But I mean, come on, it's so simple. All right, over the top of this chili, gonna add a blend of cheese, just cheddar and Monterey Jack. You can use cheddar and pepper jack, but I'm bringing a little bit of fire with jalapenos in the end. And what I really like about the jalapenos is they kind of show you a serving size. It makes it easy for people to slice up and portion on their own. So mounds and mounds of cheese. Uh, now, over the top of that, just, you know, think about the serving size and put a jalapeno freshly sliced along the length as well. And then you can imagine when this comes out, people are gonna cut between the jalapenos. Everyone gets a nice little jalapeno bite. And it also adds some curb appeal and just keep on going down along the length. Now, this isn't done. I'm gonna bring it out of the oven. There's more toppings, as, as GZ and I were called. Wow, GZ, the accoutrement, <laughs> what is going on? All Please, right. okay, I'm gonna get this into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, over here, putting a little bit of scallions over the top, making it rain scallions. Rain, make it rain. You can't have enough basil or cheese, as far as I'm concerned. Cilantro, Cilantro. over the top to kind of match your basil love. Oh. Then a nice drizzle of crema. If you can't find crema, it's just a looser version of sour cream. Just get in there and add a little bit of milk to your sour cream or even water. Sometimes I'll do some lime juice to loosen it up. She sounds better crema, right? It does. Just get that on there. And then a nice shake of hot sauce. You ready to put ready? this down, oh, Jeezy? Oh, oh. This is a lot of work here. All right. Beep, beep, beep. I mean, come on. Oh, hook me up with the chili and the cheese and the chili and the cheese. There you go. Okay. All right, Jeezy. Of course he would cut his in half. I'm gonna cut mine just like you. That is delicious, the crunch. Oh. Mm. Sorry. Easy. Touchdown! We did it. <laughs>